Alright, so what is up guys? In this video I want to go over how to create rewarded ads and let me just show you what that is in case you forgot. So let's go ahead and click on this earn coins button and you will see that it will play this short ad and there is a timer at the top and once the timer reaches zero it will give us a toast at the bottom that says five coins have been successfully earned and when we exit out of this ad we will have earned five coins. So it's very good for giving the user some in-game currency or some extra points or whatever. You can even let them replay a level. And let's just get started immediately by going back to the project that we've been working on in the past two videos. So inside here, the first thing we want to do is go to our activity main XML and we have to add a button and a text view. So I'm just gonna paste in my previous button and my previous text view. And of course, I need to add the tag to my interstitial ad that says below, and we want this to be below the rewarded ad button. So the first thing I did is add a text view with an ID of TV underscore total underscore coins with a width and height set to wrap content. And then I centered it in the parent and set that to true. Then I hard coded in the text total coins and set that to zero. And then we have the text color to black and the text size to 20 SP. Then I created a button and assigned the ID of button underscore rewarded underscore add to it with wrap content on width and height. And I set it below the TV underscore total underscore coins. And I decided to put this to center and parent and set it to true. Although you can do the same thing with center horizontal. Then we have a layout margin of 10 dp and a text that says earn coins with an exclamation mark. And what I did earlier was add the layout below attribute to the, to the interstitial button. So we would see that the interstitial button would appear right below the earned coins button, as you can see right there. But that's all you have to do in the main activity. Of course, you can copy this from my GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. So feel free to copy that if you don't want to copy all of this. But then we can go back to our main activity and inside here, the first thing we have to do is create a late init var. So I'm gonna write private late init var, rewarded add, and that's gonna be of type rewarded add. And then right below, we need to add a private var, which will be called total coins, and we will equal that to zero. Then, so I don't forget, I always like to call it first. So we are going to call our rewarded add method that we have not created yet. So let's get rid of this error by typing in that function immediately under. So let's go private function rewarded add and create a block and that gets rid of that error. And then inside here, we need to create a function called function create and load reward add. And that's going to extend the rewarded add class. Then we need to create a block and inside this block, we will type in and initialize our rewarded ad. So that's going to be equal to rewarded ad with the context of this. And here you need to paste in your ad mob ID for the rewarded ad. And of course, Google provided a sample one as well for that. And that will be in the description below or in my GitHub repository. And actually we don't need this constructor. So let's just get rid of that. And right below that, we can type in val add load callback and that's going to equal an object which will extend rewarded add load callback and then inside here we can override two functions the first one we are going to override is on rewarded add loaded uh, we can just get rid of the super and this is in case the ad successfully loads so we're just going to add a log in here so it's going to be log tag and we will type in rewarded add loaded and that's how you can handle if your ad loads in case you have any code you want to put in there. Otherwise, we will also add another override function, which is unrewarded add failed to load. And in here, it also provides you with the load add error report. So that is great, but we are just going to add another log and we are going to replace this super call. So we're gonna write rewarded add failed to load. And down here, we need to refer to our rewarded add and we want to finally load an add. So we're gonna get the add request dot builder as always and call dot build and we want to insert our add load callback and finally we need to return something so we will return the rewarded ad and then right below we want to create a function that helps us reload the ad after a user clicks on it because every time the user clicks on it it will use this object and this is a one-time use object so we want to reload this ad. So the next time the user decides to click on earn more coins, they will have an ad ready for them. So down here we'll write function 
on reward ad closed. And this will refer to the rewarded ad and we will create and load the rewarded ad once again. Then right below, we need to call this create and load rewarded ad. So it actually loads it. So we'll type in create and load reward ad. And that should take care of creating the ad for the first time. Then of course, we need to add a few more functions that handle the button click and what happens if it's actually loaded, when it's open, when it's closed, and what we should reward the user with. So inside here, we need to type in our button, which is button rewarded ad, and set an on click listener. And inside here, we are going to add a log, and we're gonna say reward button clicked, just to make sure that the button works. And under that, we will write if rewarded ad, if our ad is loaded, we will want to create a value of activity context and that's going to be of type activity and that's going to refer to to this at main activity then right below that we are going to create another object and this is going to be called val at callback and it's going to be equal to another object which is also going to extend our rewarded our rewarded add callback and then add a parenthesis and create the block and this time it's gonna require you to implement some members. So we'll click on implement members. And the only one it requires you to insert is on user earned reward. So we can click on okay, but there are still a few we want to insert. So we can also add the others by holding down command or control plus N and overriding methods. And you will see we are also missing these four down here. So let's just add these four and click on okay. And it seems we have two unrewarded ad failed to show. So let's just remove this top one. And in the bottom one, we will just override or replace the super call with a log that says rewarded ad failed to show. Then on our rewarded ad closed, we will add a log that says rewarded ad closed. And then let's add the log to unrewarded ad opened. And of course, one more log to on user earned reward. So that will take care of the logs and we will know exactly what the program is doing because of these logs. Now we can finally get into it and actually customize what we wanted to do. So unrewarded ad closed, of course we wanted to create a new ad. So we are going to call our unreward ad closed method, this one over here, and this will just create a new ad for us as soon as we close this one. And then the final thing we want to edit is what happens when the user earns a reward. So of course we want to increase the coin count by five, so we'll do total coins plus equals five. And we will create a toast that says they successfully earned those coins. So we can just put in our activity context. And inside here, we will write five coins successfully earned. And then we need to update our text view. So we'll do TV underscore total coins and type in text and that's going to equal total coins. And then we need to insert our total coins, of course. And then at the bottom of this object, we need to show this rewarded ad. So we will write rewarded ad dot show and it will take our activity context and the ad callback. And with that being said, we can actually go ahead and click on play. And you will see that once it has loaded everything, you will have the total coin set to zero, you will have an interstitial button and you will have an earn coins button. And once you click on that earns coin button, it will take you to this ad, this, this sample ad that Google provides us that lasts five seconds. And at the end of the five seconds, you will get a toast that says five coins successfully earned. And as soon as you exit out of it, you will have earned five coins. And that's all you need to know about creating these ads. I think these are the very basic ones. Of course, there's also the topic of native ads, which I will cover in the near future. And of course, be sure to follow the logs because if you click on a button and it doesn't work, it's probably because the rewarded ad or the normal ad or the interstitial ad hasn't loaded. So they have to be loaded for this to work. Otherwise, you should implement some sort of function that takes care of what happens when the ad is not loaded because the user won't notice anything and nothing will happen on the screen if these do not load. But with that being said, thanks for watching another one of my videos and I will see you guys in the next video.